yet another venue for these issues to creep in and gum up the entire conversation concerns human origins. And the problem is looking for an origin of specialness. Instead of looking at a breadth of speciation events, instead it's looking at a succession of events, one of which is supposed to be the moment when we stop being bestial and start being human. And any number of times in the history of paleoanthropology, there has been a place or a moment or a um, set of narratively injected events which are supposed to be that point. And whether it's the origin of our own species, Homo sapiens and none other, or whether it is the uh, production of a given posture or a given specific kind of head shape, or whether it is long after the origin of Homo sapiens and a moment of cultural effervescence or whatever it is, it's often associated with a different relationship to the cosmos. It's associated with perhaps the origin of morality as if social and interactive and reciprocal and emotional activities are not observed among other creatures when they certainly are. And it's also the notion that from that point on, the rules are changed. The logistic whys and the evolutionary whys and answers thereto are no longer in force. And that particular rather subtle shift, if you're looking at the precise words, ends up being much more apparent when you put pressure upon it and then start talking about us as animals today. And that's when the reaction kicks in and says, oh, but, well, you know, we're from them. But since the events or series of events that put us into the category of human have occurred, now discussing us really needs to be about that other why and not about that kind of grubby and contingent and non-directed and otherwise, you know, undignified why anymore.